Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is chocolate raspberry and it's going to be 46 degrees and so far it looks sunny. So I checked on some of my little starts and it went down to 36 last night and they're still alive and well, the ones that have managed to peek out of the soil. Those are the ones I started on the paper towels, the bok choy and the little broccolis. So we'll see. Um, like I said, this is an experiment for me. I've never done winter sowing before. Some people start winter sowing like really in the winter, like in February, but I don't know. I'm trying it now. It's more like an early sowing like you would do in a cold frame. And all I'm planting is cold loving vegetables like bok choy and cabbage, broccoli, all the brassicas. They all like it cold. Lettuces, spinach, kale. All those green veggies like the cold. So those are the ones I'm trying. One of my sourdoughs is coming along, the one I made with the plain flour. It's getting bubbly. The other two are pretty much doing nothing. But, I don't know, they're heavier flowers, but they're actually supposed to um, do better than the regular flour, but I'm not finding that to be the case. I'm finding those to be pretty sluggish. So we'll see. I'll give it a few more days with the rye flour and the wheat flour and see if I can't get them to turn into a starter. But I think the regular flour one will be okay. So cheers. So I'd like to take the day off today and do nothing, but I only have a couple more things to plant and I really do want to get this mess out of my kitchen. I still want to plant some kohlrabi and get my little tomatoes uh, started. I started the peppers yesterday, so we'll see how those do on a paper towel because sometimes peppers are slow to germinate. At least I've found that to be true for me. So this is going to be the busy season starting for me with the garden. I'd like to get the garden boxes moved soon, but it's still too cold. It's only in the 40s. I'll wait until it goes up into the 50s and 60s to do that. So I do have to look at my budget book today. I haven't done that in a couple days, and I do not want to backslide too much on that. But there's a lot of other things that need to be done, too. A lot of people think when you retire, you have nothing to do. Well, I don't find that to be the case. I think I just had a few less hobbies when I was working, but I actually got more done. Then again, it was because I was younger and I had the energy to do it. Now as I'm getting older, I need to simplify. Cut back on some of my hobbies. Cut back on some of my cleaning by getting rid of things. It's the progression of life. You know, a lot of younger people, they're always in such a hurry to get everything done and do it yesterday. And, you know, I, I just don't want that lifestyle. I want a slow, gentle, easy life now. I've paid my dues and it's time to move on. I'm sure a lot of us feel that way that are older. And my advice to those of you that are younger is to pace yourself. Yes, you need to build your life. You need to get everything done. Those of you with kids, of course, need to give them a lot of attention. But pace yourself. Because in the end, you're still going to 
start aging and you'll need to slow down too. Which isn't a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's pleasant. The one drawback I would say about getting older is you do get some aches and pains and you know, sometimes it can be a little frustrating because you want to get XYZ done and you only get X done. But Y and Z will wait until tomorrow. So, okay, I'm going to take some of my own advice and relax and enjoy my coffee before I start with my plants. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so here is what the plain flower starter is starting to look like. I did feed this again yesterday, so I did feed that twice. And it's starting to bubble. This was the original one I made, but it's still not anywhere near strong enough to make bread. And here is the rice, no, the rye flour. This one's the rye flour, which is doing nothing. And this is the wheat flour, which is doing nothing. So I'll give these a couple more days. I could put these in the oven with the light on. It might get them started. Because like I said, you know, it's been chilly outside. And um, so it takes it longer for it to get going. But I'm in no hurry. So I'll just see what they do. So all right, there they are. Right, just regular old flour, rye, and wheat. All right, today I'm planting my tomatoes. Well, not exactly planting them. I'm germinating them. And I finally found a good use for my little jars here. So what I did was I put paper towels, oh, Got an ant. Uh, I cannot get rid of them. Uh, put paper towels in there. I put like five seeds in each one. Now, this is saran wrap over the top. Um, what I did was I put the days till germination, the date I started them, which is, of course, today, and then I put whether they're determinate or indeterminate. Now, these are semi determinate. So um, I wanted a nice big variety of tomatoes. So I only planted like five seeds of each. I don't know if they're all going to germinate. Some of them are older seeds. Now if you're planting in containers and you don't have a lot of room, you might want to plant determinate tomatoes. But the determinate tomatoes, they yield their crop all at once. The indeterminate tomatoes uh, yield their cr uh, crop um, throughout the season. So really the only determinate tomatoes that I have, these two are semi-determinate. Um, Roma is a determinate tomato, so that might be good for a container. Now all mine are going into containers. So these I put all the seeds in on a wet paper towel. I want to see this method if it works. I'm not covering them with the paper towel, but this is going to keep the moisture in. Um, I've got all kinds of different varieties here. Cherokee Purple. I've got Super Sweet um, Cherokee um, Chocolate Cherry Black Crim. These are heirlooms. Uh, then in here I planted an early girl, which I did have, one year I had real good yield with that, another year not so much, but this is a different container, and if you have one with this kind of lid, if you stick a piece of tape on there, just regular tape, you can write on it and then you won't ruin your lid, you can just remove the tape when you're done. Um, and then these containers uh, are from Candles from Dollar Tree. So um, I'm using those as well. And then I just save random lids from different containers that fit the Dollar Tree um, candle jars. 
So anyway, this is what I'm trying this year. Um, I got this idea from M.I. Gardner. He gardens up in Michigan. He's the same uh, planting zone I am. He's in zone 6. So I'm starting the tomatoes, and we'll see. I'll put these in soil once they germinate. And the only thing that I'm going to plant yet is some kohlrabi, and I'm going to winter sow that. So these are the summer vegetables, these and the peppers. So we'll see what happens. I'm trying all kinds of different ways to germinate seeds and plant seeds. I'm trying to find the easiest way. And, of course, when you're first looking for an easy way, sometimes it takes a little, a little work. All right, so there we are. There's all my tomatoes. Okay, I haven't done an update on my budget book for a couple days. So Friday, I get a nice check mark. Saturday I get a nice check mark and today is Sunday and I'm hoping to get another check mark today. <clears throat> now March is a time where I do buy things for the garden so it's going to be a challenge because I already need some more soil and then once my seeds have all sprouted I'm going to have to see what I need for that. Now I do have a lot of containers that I've saved from other years and planting. I try and save as much of that as I can. And so, but you know, there's things you need for your garden when you're starting out. So March and April and even into May, there's going to be heavy gardening things that come up. Now I'm trying to keep it to a minimum as much as I can, but we'll have to see how it goes. So anyway, that is my update. I still haven't done end of the month for February, but I think it's getting better. Nine days of spend, 19 days of no spend, down from 17 days of no spend, and 14 days of spend. So we'll see. We will see how it goes. Okay, well, I'm working on my garden book, trying to get that put together, updated. I'm reading about what to do. <laughs> There's so many ways to do things. A hundred ways to make sourdough, a hundred ways to plant your seeds. Uh, it just goes on and on. And the more I read, the more confused I get. So anyway, the only thing that I can do is try. And if it doesn't work, you have to kind of find your own path with what works for you. So I'm making my dinner. I'm trying those uh, good catch fish sticks. Um, I hope they're good. And just some tater tots that I got from Dollar Tree. So it's not a real expensive meal. So here it is. Let me give this a taste. They seem crunchy. I made them in the air fryer. Mm. They're very good. Homemade tartar sauce. These have a little bit of a kick to them. The tater tots from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I would definitely buy these again. Thumbs up from me. And uh, today was a very slow living, chill day. So I did get stuff done. Got my tomato seeds, not planted, but um, started hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if I don't see any germination then I'm going to see if I can put them on it on my heat mat and see if that hurries it along a little bit. And once they sprout they'll be going into my double cup method because that worked really well last year. 
Chloe's rolling around on the couch. <sighs> well, anyway, so that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.